All right, welcome, welcome. Our first picking exercise, we're gonna take a look at three different pick strokes. Now remember that with each video, there is a paper that has the tablature on there. The best idea is for you to print it out and put it in your own binder so that you can take notes for yourself. Everybody's experience with this is unique and you might you know, come back to these exercises later and those notes are gonna be helpful. So the first thing you wanna do is hold the pick with the index finger and the thumb where the index finger is curled and the thumb is curled like this. And our first pick stroke is a rest stroke. So what we wanna do is put the pick on the low E string and then when you pick the low E string, you land onto the A string. So the pick comes to a rest there. See how my pick is stuck on the A string now. All right. This stroke is gonna be really beneficial for power chords and other techniques later on. So it's important to really get this into your playing right now. We're gonna do four quarter notes per string, such as. and so on. And let's practice it with a drum track at 80 beats per minute. Okay, so the next pick stroke is gonna be a free stroke. That's when we play the string and we kind of just play the pick into the air. We don't actually land onto the next one. So that goes like this. Again, each stroke has multiple uses later on and they're gonna be useful as you learn. So let's try that at 80 beats per minute. Okay, so the last one we wanna do is a free stroke upstroke. And that's gonna be when you put your pick underneath the string and play towards the ceiling. And again, with the upstroke, it's gonna be a free stroke. We're not gonna land into the next string. We can learn that later on. Um, so it's still a viable option. But for right now, most of the time, the upstrokes are gonna be free strokes. So let's give that a shot at 80 beats per minute. Okay, now that we've practiced each stroke, the rest stroke, the free stroke, and the upstroke free stroke at 80 beats per minute, what I wanna do is let's go a little faster and we're gonna do all three in a row without stopping at 120. Let's give it a shot.
All right, so there you go. That's the end of the first warm-up exercise. If the 120 is a little bit too fast for you, put on a metronome at 80, uh, and then every day move it up maybe five at a time. So warm up one day at 80, and then try to get to 85. And then the next day, warm up at 85 and get to 90 and so on until you reach the 120. Sometimes that is a big jump, um, but you know, for the purposes of the video, we can't do every single metronome marking in between. So um, if it takes you a week or so, I mean, I, I would say, your goal should be to work on this at least for one week, whether you're a beginner or experienced, to really hone in these fundamentals of this exercise. It's only gonna make your playing better when you make those fundamentals better. So again, print out that sheet, make sure you take some notes, keep practicing along with this video, and we'll see you on the next warm-up exercise.